Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create click to reveal text for your Squarespace website. Sometimes referred to as an accordion, this is text where you click on part of it and more text reveals underneath that first label or title for this click to reveal option. Now I have an old tutorial that uses JavaScript to do this, but in this tutorial, we're just using HTML and CSS together to make this magic happen. That means even if you're using a personal plan, this tutorial will work for you. What we're going to do is add a section of code in a code block on the page that has all of the content, the title that you'll click on to reveal the text underneath. And then we'll customize it with a little bit of CSS to create the hidden and reveal action as well as style that FAQ or accordion section or whatever you'd like to call it. Now, as always, the codes are listed in the description below, but I want to mention the content we're adding for the code block on the page has angled brackets. I can't put those in a YouTube description. So if you're watching this on YouTube, look for the first comment and all of the content will be there. However, if you're watching this video on my blog, it's all directly underneath the video right here on this post. All right, enough with the details. Let's hop into my demo site and take a look at how this code works. So here we are in my demo site and the first part of this code is the content that you can click on to reveal. I'm gonna select edit so you can see what we have here. Double clicking on this code block, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit here and click this expand icon so we can see all the content. This is the stuff you're gonna to wanna to change to add the content for your own site. This title is what someone will click on to reveal this content underneath it. So I want you to edit anything here between these H3 brackets that's styled to match the H3 for your Squarespace website. So that's the title right there, you'll change that. And then this sentence under here, right after it says content reveal, that's the content that will be displayed when someone clicks on it. I have three options set here, a second one and then a third one. You can add as many as you'd like to this, but I thought three would be a good example. So I'll go ahead and select close and let's navigate over. We'll say done. So let's add the code that makes this work. I'll select design and then scroll all the way down to custom CSS at the bottom. So now that we've added the code, you'll see as soon as you click on the label, you'll see the content underneath it, but it's hidden unless we've actually clicked on the title for that particular section. We've also added a plus sign to the title here, and when you click on it, it turns into the minus sign. So that's an option that we can also change with the code. So let's take a look at this code here. In the very beginning, this first part, I don't really want you to mess with this too much because this kind of creates the action for us. But underneath that, we have the content title. I just added some padding there. And right here, we have that plus sign. You can change that to literally anything you want it to be. Uh, maybe an arrow instead of a plus sign. That's the piece of content that you'd want to edit. Now, if we scroll down a little bit more at the very bottom right here is the minus sign. That's what was revealed when you actually click on the item. You can change that to any symbol you want to using a Unicode character or text, whatever you'd like it to display. So that's where you edit that particular piece of content. Now I talked about adding some custom style to this as well. Let's say you actually want to have like a background color for that content there that is listed under content reveal. So here we can actually use uh, this section to say, background FFF, which is the solid white hex color code. So if I click this, it'll then be highlighted so it's a little bit easier to read since it's not on that soft blue instead. You can also do things like maybe add a border to it if you want to. This code right here will add just a small border to the left so it's kind of isolated and separates it a bit from the titles. Plenty of customization that you can do with those codes. Just to show you one last time, this piece right here is where we've actually changed the content that's displayed in front of the title itself. And then down here at the very bottom is where we changed it to the symbol that displays once that actual title has been clicked on to reveal the content underneath it. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. Now the codes we just went through are listed in the description below. If you're watching this on YouTube, look at the very first comment for all of the details that you're gonna need to make this code look amazing on your own website. I wanna encourage you to get really creative with the background colors and the borders and the font styles. There's all kinds of fun things you can customize with this one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace into one PDF, and you can download a copy right now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.